Hello, can you hear the Spanish interpreter? I can. Can the Spanish interpreter hear me? Yes, absolutely. All right, uh, so you need case numbers, I assume, correct? Yes, correct. Um, allow me to connect for a second to courtroom two, please. Okay, and you have swear in, right? Yes, I have. Oh, she has, okay. Then you don't. All right, uh, so we ready to go? Yes, Your Honor, connection has been established. Okay, so the first uh, case number we have is 2020 CF 6255AO. This is, uh, looks like Nicholas Diza. Um, Madam Clerk, can you please swear in the defendant? Oh, no, wait, do we swear? No, it's IAs. No, no, no. Right, we'll have swear no, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Your Honor, the interpreter may ask the correctional officer down at the jail to move that mic at the podium as far away from the defendant as possible. All right. All right. Lord, yeah, we can put his hand down. All right. Um, do we have a victim in this case? No, Your Honor. Okay. All right. So, Mr. I did uh, review the affidavit of fine probable cause. Um, I'm going to uh, set the bond at $2,500. No contact. Maintain separate residence, uh, no weapons, no firearms, may return one time with the deputy to retrieve personal belongings. Yeah, I, um, yeah, we're appointing, a, I guess, we'll just, can we just make an announcement that yeah. pursuant to the current administrative order, the public defender's office is hereby appointed to everybody as an initial appearance today, so we won't have to do that every time. Um, sir, you have the public defender as your attorney. Uh, I would advise that you get in touch with your attorney as soon as you can. All right. Thank you. Next case. And then you, do you need these? You just need those. All right. Uh, Madam Interpreter, the next case is 2020 MM 433 AW. Do we have a victim on this one? No, Your Honor. All right. Uh, I would note that uh, the defendant does qualify for pretrial release. So, so I'll grant pretrial release. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, you do have a victim. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, ma'am. Yes. Uh, ma'am, can you raise your right hand? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, I swear to tell the truth, but nothing more the truth. State your name, please. Angeline Maria Stasio. All right, Ms. Stasio. Um, Mr. Feb Colon, if I'm saying that correctly. Yes, sir. Uh, you're in a relationship with this person, correct? Yes, sir. Um, you wished it? We we actually, we got married by a pastor, but we, we haven't sent the, okay, yeah, go ahead. Sorry about that for interrupting. I'm sorry, Your Honor. The interpreter cannot understand what she's saying. It's coming in choppy and not very clear. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, well, to the extent that you can, ma'am, yes, uh, speak as clearly as you can. Yes, uh, do you wish to have contact uh, with Mr. Febo Cologne? Yes, sir. I wish to have contact with Mr. Febo Cologne. Do you wish for him to return to the residence? Yes, sir. I wish for him to return to the residence. Are you in fear of Mr. Febo Cologne? No, I am not in fear of Mr. Febo Cologne. If there were another incident, would you have any problem calling 911? No, I would not have any problem calling 911. Okay. I'm going to uh, release Mr. Feba Cologne on pretrial release. He is allowed to return to the residence. He is allowed to have non-hostile contact with the victim. What that means is you cannot raise your voice 
to this person, speak crossly, or have any violent interaction with this person. If you do, and the victim phones uh, the sheriff's office, you will be returned to jail. You understand what that means, sir? Yes. Okay. All right. Also, while you are on release, you are to possess no weapons, no firearms. I guess that's it. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. All right, Madam Interpreter, the next case is 2020 MM 3694. Uh, is this pleable? It is. State, are there any offers? Yes, Your Honor. Adjudication of guilt, two days with credit time served, court costs, no return to the scene of the Circle K at 801 South Cimarron. All right, uh, Mr. Bonilla Rodriguez. If you wish to enter a plea to this case today, the state is offering an adjudication of guilt, a conviction, give you credit for two days of jail time that you've already done, order you to pay court costs, and you may not return to the Circle K for a period of one year. If you wish to accept that offer, you can enter a plea of no contest and waive your right to a trial and waive your right to speak with your lawyer, substantively, um, and accept that offer. Or you can tell me before you do anything. Yes, I accept. Okay, you don't wanna to speak to your lawyer before you accept that offer, is that correct? No. And your honor, just so that he is aware, he does have an immigration hold. Oh, okay. Um, sir, are you aware that uh, immigration has a hold on you? Yes. Okay. All right. Sir, are you under the influence of drugs or alcohol today? No. Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness? No. And do you understand that entering a plea to a criminal charge will subject you to deportation proceedings? Do you understand that idea? Yes, because I did what I did. Okay. And finally, you understand your... I need a second chance. And finally, you understand you're waiving your right to have a trial and waiving your right to speak with your lawyer. Correct? Yes. All right. I'm going to find uh, that you're uh, entering a plea voluntarily. That you're competent to enter the plea. I assume you're pleading no contest meaning you don't want to contest it, you just want to resolve it. Is that right? Yes. I'll accept your no contest plea. I'll adjudicate you guilty of trespass on property, uh, order you to serve two days in the Orange County Jail, give you credit for the two days you've already done, order you to pay court costs in the amount of 273, I'm not going to impose the PD link. Um, sir, okay, that's fine. Sir, I'm going to uh, convert the court costs to a civil judgment and further order that you not return to the Circle K at 801 South Semaran Boulevard in Orlando, Florida. I don't know the zip. Do we need it? Okay. Okay, uh, sir, they're gonna take your fingerprints. Oh, 
They're not going to take your fingerprints. Never mind. All right. Good luck to you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Is this one, this case here? Uh, do I have it here? Uh, no. No, no, that's just special. Oh, this is an add-on. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 okay. All right, uh, Madam Interpreter, this case is out of Volusia County, case number 2017-CF-103-116. This is Jose Acevedo. Mr. Acevedo, per Judge Clayton in Volusia County, you are to be held at no bond until Volusia County comes and transports you to their jurisdiction. I don't know when that will be, but until that time, you will remain in Orange County Jail. Okay? Very well. All right, is, uh, so the next one's Portuguese? Um, well, that's the next one. Cristobal? It's one more Spanish. Gotcha. Mateo, Mateo. Cristobal. Yep. All right, Madam Interpreter, this is, wait, this says Portuguese. Oh, no, I got, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. No, no. Okay, so uh, Madam Interpreter, this is, I believe, this is Cristobal Mateo Mateo. I've got 2020 CF 6256AO. Tenemos aquí. Yes. Okay, and another case here, or is this just a ticket? Okay. Is there a TR number? Well, all right. So it's 2020 CF 6256. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, hit and run. Shoot. I wrote down notes on this one. Oh, here it is. I got it. Okay, uh, so I'm going to set the um, bond on count one at $2,500 and stay the bond at $500 on count two. All right, good luck to you, sir. Okay. Okay, thank you, Madam Interpreter. I think that's it for Spanish. You're welcome. Thank you. And may I just say something to the correctional officers? Um, I think their solution works. There can only be one microphone attached because the other one will cause interference. Thank you so much for taking that one off. All right, do I need to do anything over here? No, all I have to do is do the telecommute on the little one, say tele. Teleconference? Uh, Port Portuguese interpreter, can you hear me? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Have you been sworn today? Not yet. Raise your right hand. Do you swear by Portuguese to English and English to Portuguese to Portuguese today? Yes, I do. Can you give me the ID for the record? 206168. All right. All uh, right. Madam Interpreter, this is Carlos Rodriguez, 2020 MM 3687AO. Yes, sir. He's correct, sir. Este é o, este é o senhor Carlos Rodrigues, 2020MM 3687AO. Do we have a victim in this case? 
Yes, you do, Your Honor. And the victim has an attorney with him also. Okay. Tem temos uma vítima nesse caso, sim. E temos uh, o advogado com ele também. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Right. Is, the, is the victim present in the... Uh, okay. A vítima está presente? Sim, senhor. Então, é, senhor, pode ouvir-me? We hear everything. Well, he's looking a little deer in the headlights. So we're not sure. <laughs> Sir, are you understanding and hearing the interpreter? Yes, I do. Senhor. Speaking Portuguese. Está entendendo e ouvindo a intérprete? Sim, estou. Yes, I am. Sir, do you need the interpreter or do you speak English? Senhor, precisa da intérprete ou fala inglês? Olha, para fazer um depoimento para um juiz, eu preciso do intérprete, porque eu posso cometer algum erro de comunicação. To make a statement to the judge, I might need the interpreter because I could uh, make uh, some mistakes when communicating with him. Okay. All right. Um, where's the last name? I know Daniel. I'm looking for the last name. Where'd it go? All right. I believe we have the witness in the box. Sir, can you raise your right hand, please? Senhor, por favor, levante a sua mão direita. Not, not the defendant, the victim. A vítima, não o réu. Does the victim need an interpreter? No, sir. I'm attorney Dan Perez, Your Honor. Oh, is your client here? No, sir. I am the victim. He's my father-in-law. Oh, I, I apologize. I can't see what's going on. So when they said they had an attorney, I assume they have two attorneys. The victim also has an attorney with him, and I, I, I assume that the victim is an attorney also. Okay. You know, uh -huh. Just for the record, Carlos Ivanor, uh, the attorney for Mr. Perez, was the victim. All right. So, Mr. Perez, can you be sworn? Well, if he's a member of the bar. So, the victim, so I don't need to swear the victim in? All right. No. Let's just do it to be safe. Right here, did you saw the swear? Tell yeah, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do swear. State your name for the record. Attorney Dan Perez. All right, Mr. Perez, do you wish to have contact with your father-in-law? No, sir, I do not. Okay. Um, Senhor, Senhor Perez, te, eh, quer ter contato com seu sogro? No, eu não quero. All right. Um, the defendant does qualify for pretrial release. Então, o réu qualifica para para liberação pré-julgamento. I will release him on pretrial release. However, eu vou liberá-lo nesse pré-julgamento, liberação, mas there is no contact with the defendant. Não não I deve mean, ter nenhum sorry, contato com Não deve ter nenhum contato com a vítima. Defendant must maintain a separate residence. Uh, o réu tem que manter uma residência separada. You may return to the residence. Uh, okay. Un under the supervision of the sheriff's office one time to retrieve personal belongings. Você pode retornar à residência com a supervisão do xerife uma vez. You will 
Uh, you will possess no weapons or firearms while on pretrial release. Você não vai poder ter posse de armas ou qualquer coisa relacionada à arma depois que for liberado. Okay. That's it. All right. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you, George. Boa sorte ao senhor. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Oops, sorry. All right. Do I have to take it off teleconference? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we're on the move ups. Yeah. First one I have is uh, Imperial. Probation sent a recommendation on this one, Your Honor. I'm sorry, Ms. Ms. Bucos. You said, can you get that microphone closer to you, maybe? Yeah. Probation sent a recommendation on this one. Okay. They asked to either refer to Division 50, no bond on the VOP, or if he wants to plea 180 days in the Orange County Jail, revoke in term, and then send cost to collections. Okay. Okay, then I guess we just refer to Division 50, no bond. All right. Well, I still have to address the um, the no bond counts <clears throat> on 20. CF 6265 AO. So um, I'll go ahead and set bond on count one at 3,500. I'll stay the bond on count two at 2,500. I'll stay the bond to count three on 1,500. I will set the bond on count four at 500 and count five at 500. No, Kai stated at 150. What did I say? I said 50. I meant 150. I'm staying it. It's 150 on the, so I'm staying it. And as far as the VOP goes, uh, I will uh, honor the recommendation of probation and leave that at no bond. Sir, you will have to seek a bond on the VOP from the judge in that division. <clears throat> All right, good luck to you. We honor the next person on the docket, Michael Anderson, mental health. Okay. All right, so he's gone. Wait, was it Michael Lloyd Anderson? Yep. <clears throat> okay, so I just give that back to you, right? All right, so we should be at uh, Figueroa Arum, Ar Reimer. Reimer? A Reimer, okay. Okay, so uh, Ms. Figueroa Arimer, you were out on bond on several, on a couple other. Oh, he skipped Michael Anderson. So uh, here's what we're going to do on on the new charge. I'm going to stay the bond at one thousand dollars. In um, twenty CF. It's either a four or six, I can't tell. Oh, here it is down here. Oh no, that's an MM. Oh, here it is, 2020, all right. And so in 2020 MM, 831, I'm guessing is AO. Oh, that's Osceola. So uh, I'm gonna revoke that bond. I'll set a new bond in the amount of $500. And in case number 2020 CF 2175 AO, uh, I will revoke that bond and uh, both bonds. Uh, I can see account one and count two. Um, count one is now going to be a thousand dollar bond, and count two will be uh, 100. Okay, and I will stay the bond on the new charge so at 1,000. Thank you. I did.
All right. Uh, Eric Martin? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Martin, uh, I'm staying your bonds uh, as they're listed. You have no bond on count one. It's punishable by life, therefore no bond. Same thing for count two. I will stay the bond on count three at 10,000, on count four at 10,000, count five at 10,000, and count six at 10,000. Are there more? I've got more listed here, but only six on the affidavit. Okay. We'll see how they're. Oh, he does? I don't have it. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, okay. Well, it's the same thing. I got you. All right. Two different victims. All right. Uh, so, sir, the you have two cases. This, the second case is 2020 CF 61888 Um Similar charges. I'm going to stay the bonds on count one and two at no bond. Uh, counts three, four, five, and six uh, will stay at 10,000. All right, good luck to you. All right, is this Perez Guzman? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Uh, I've got two different case numbers, 2020 CF 6245 and 6246. On 6245 and count one, I'm going to set your bond at $5,000. I will stay count two at, where is it? It's in here somewhere. I'm staying them. Do I need to announce them? Yeah, so I there was no bond on count one, so I'm setting that at five thousand. I'm going to stay the count two at two fifty and count three at five hundred. All right. Now on the prior case, the nineteen CF one three six nine nine A O, I'm going to revoke, uh, street that bond, and set the new bond at thirty five hundred. Oh, uh, yeah, and I'm staying the bonds on the other two. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. That's CF 2020 CF 6246. Yeah, that one's uh, I'm setting bond at 5,000. And then I believe he had a, a Dwillis, right? And that was 500. I'm going to stay that. No. No. I don't think so. No, 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 no. This is a. He's sitting in the car in a parking lot, apparently. Okay, so to recap, on the 2020 CF 6246, I'll set bond at 5,000. On 6245, on count one, I'm setting it at 5,000. I'm staying on count two and three with 250 and five, and I'll stay the Dwellers at five. I revoke the street and set the new bond at 3,500. Good luck to you. All right. Uh, oh, this is below. This is a pleable blot. Below. Uh, it's a trespass. State, is there any offer on this? Yes, Your Honor. Adjudication of guilt, two days with credit time served. Court costs, no return to the scene of the Lynx Terminal at 455 North Garland. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Below? Yes. Um, okay, sir, you have a bond of $500 on this, but if you want to resolve the case today, the state's offer is an adjudication of guilt, a conviction. Um, the, you would be sentenced to two days of Orange County Jail and give you credit for two days that you've already done, so it's a time served. You'd be ordered to pay court costs and no return to the Lynx bus station on North uh, Garland, I think it was. Um, you could accept that offer by entering a no contest plea, which would waive your right to a trial, waive your right to speak with your lawyer, uh, and, it, and resolve the case. Or you can say, no, I want to talk to a lawyer before I do anything. Uh, I'll resolve the case today, uh, but there's, uh, when, I get, uh, when I get out here today, 
there's gonna be a, a, a bus stop outside. When I take the bus, my next stop will be the Lake Central Station. So now you banning me from the Lake Central Station, I take the plea. I am. It would, uh, no contest. Yes. Okay, but you understand that you'll be trespassed or prohibited from returning to the Central Station for one year. Uh, well, I understand. So I guess I guess what that means is you'd have to walk. Yeah, I'll get off one stop. A different... One stop before, one stop after. I'll do what I can, but because uh, right. I, I use the bus on a daily basis. And that's uh, that's the main terminal for transit for a transfer. So I will I will do what I can. State, are you uh, uh, flexible on the no return or on no return to the 455 North Garland Links Terminal? Yes. You are flexible. Or you're not. Not flexible. Okay. All right. So, sir, if you want to accept the offer, it's going to be no return. You're are on you under the influence of drugs or alcohol today? Uh. I guess I accept because I said I want to leave today. Yes. Okay. Are you under the influence of drugs or alcohol no. today? No. Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness, sir? No. Do you understand that if you enter a plea to a criminal charge and you're not a U.S. citizen, you would be subjecting yourself to deportation proceedings? Yes. And finally, you understand by entering this plea, you are wa you could have a trial in this if you wish, but you're waiving that right. And even though uh, you have the public defender appointed, you're not going to have time to speak with your lawyer. Do you understand you're waiving your rights to have a trial and your right to speak with your lawyer? Well, I have an explanation real quick for this. Uh, the, the first time I, I, I was uh, here, I pleaded not guilty, agreed to post bond, $2,000. Uh, when they came for my debit card, the bondsman never returned. I spent 54 days without seeing a judge. And when I came out, I had to uh, go to the bondsman across the street to get my card. The money was in the bank. Okay, but so, do you wish to... Sir, do you wish to accept the offer to resolve the case that we're dealing with today? Yes. And waive your right to a trial and waive your right to speak with your lawyer? Yes. Okay. I'm going to find your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I assume you would be entering a no contest plea because you don't want to contest it. You just want to resolve it. Is that right? Yes. I'll accept your no contest plea. I'll adjudicate you guilty of trespass after warning. Um, order you to serve two days in the Orange County Jail and give you credit for the two days you've already done. Order you to pay court costs. Um, cost of prosecution in the amount of 200, is it 273 on that? $273. Um, sir, are you working right now? Uh, uh, sir, I have a, a, a steady income, but I, the, the thing that's more important for me is uh, the last time I was here when they brought me back, uh, I was, uh, okay, well, I was hang, hang on a second. myself. Uh, sir, it sounds to me like you're, you're, uh, you want to tell me about a potential case or claim you feel you may have against somebody for something that was uh, done wrongly to you? And I, I'm, my suggestion would be is that you go speak with a lawyer about that when you get out to see if you have a claim. But all I'm trying to deal with right now is the trespass. Um, you tell me that you have a steady employment, so I'll give you 12 months to pay the 273. Is that enough time? Yes. All right. Uh, and... Finally, uh, there will be no return to, can you put the address on the record again, State? Yes, it's the Lynx Terminal at 455 North Garland. Okay, no return for 12, period of 12 months, all right? All right. All right, um, you said no. Oh, oh, I just, I just want to make sure that I'm safe when I get out. Can I leave right away? Or oh, because last time when they brought me upstairs, I got brutalized last two times. Sir, they, sir they'll process you out. Uh, if there's nothing else holding you, and this is the only thing that you're being held on, then you'll be released through the normal channels. Thank you. All right. Your Honor, the next person on the docket, Betsy Carr, mental health. All right. One second, I have a question on uh, Imperial. I know we just came first, but it was a DV case. So Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was it the Spanish one? No, Mr. Imperial. The VOP. He had a VOP and he had a felony DV. Lame. Because it was a bad but, Oh. But you didn't say anything about no contact. I don't know if they can bring it back. Did I ask if there was a... 
He's no bond. But a witness? No, I know, but he gets released. but I have to put conditions on the other bond. And did we did we have a witness? That's, um, if it was DV, I should have asked if there was a witness. That's correction. Correction was no. there a witness? No. no. You want to? Okay, you so. Bring him back so we can at least let him know we can't handle. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, I should have picked up on that. Please. Oh, I see. It's way down at the bottom. Dating violence, it says. Oh, wait, I think this, I, I think they maintain separate residences anyway. So we don't worry about it. Yeah, no, I'm going to, I want to amend it. Oh, do we have to bring him back for that? Who? Yeah. yeah. What defendant are y'all referenced Bolden to? Bolden Imperial. 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 Shoot. Yeah, way down at the bottom it says dating violence. If you want him back, Your Honor, it'll take a while so we can proceed until he gets back. Okay, that's fine. That one, then, when he comes, we just let him know. All right. All right, and Carr was mental health, right? Is this Mr. Ward? Yes, sir. All right, uh, state, this says it's pleable. Do you have an offer? It's enhanceable, and there's at least one prior, so uh, I'm going to have no offer. No offer today. Okay, all right, sir. Um, your bond is currently set at uh, $1,000. I'm going to stay the bond. Um, and you have, everybody is appointed to the public defender's office, so you have an attorney. You can contact your attorney. Hey, I was wondering... Uh, if I could settle for like six months or a year in probation, I'm down to do that right now. Well, the state, the reason the state is, doesn't have an offer for you today, even though technically they could, is because uh, there's an indication that you have prior offenses and they may want to bump this up to felony. Oh. So that's why there's no offer today. But you can speak with your lawyer. All right. All right. You have an attorney. The public defender's office is representing you now. I'll stay your bond at $1,000. Good luck to you, sir. Our probable cause is found on all of them, too, unless you say no probable cause. Oh, I... Well, I think I did on the first ones, but um, typically what I do, because I have reviewed... I mean, I came in this morning, I've reviewed all the affidavits, and I found probable cause on every one of them. So... All right. Uh, is this Davis Christensen? No, this is Day. All right, I'm out of order on one one of these. Uh, is this an out of county? Yes, I'm. Okay, so uh, is this Miss Day? Yes, sir. All right, Miss Day, you're you're being held on an out of county warrant, and so um, what we do is we contact the county that. Uh, we have the hold on for and ask them for direction on what they want to do, um, whether or not a bond will be set or they want to come get you. Until we hear from them, uh, you'll remain in Orange County Jail, okay? So there's not a certain day? It's too late to add a can of warrants. Oh, oh, you have, okay, you have, yeah, you're right. So there's two warrants, yeah, but um, so once we get an answer from Lake County on what they want to do, the judge will typically tell us what they like well yeah give her a bond or, or don't or whatever when we hear back from them you get your I'm, my understanding is you're brought back and we tell you what lake county is going to do okay but today we don't have a response yet she currently at no bond is she currently okay at no bond yes so as soon as they tell us what they want to do with you you'll, you'll be brought back and we'll let you know all right thank you all right okay down to the next person on the docket, Billy Johnson, mental health. Oh, okay. All right, so. Your Honor, we can waive his appearance. We can waive the defendant's appearance. The mental health? Yes, for Mr. Johnson. Okay. Hold on. We got a and that's way that's oh, I see. Okay, so we can address it. I, I'm catching up with you. All right, so uh, even though uh, Mr. Johnson is currently in mental health, the um, public defenders waived his appearance, so we will go ahead 
address this and uh, he's on an out-of-county warrant status and once Felicia tells us what they want to do, if he's not, if he's out of mental health, we'll bring him back and tell him what's going on. All right, so now we can go to, is this Devon Davis Christensen? He should be in the arraignment, Your Honor. Jesse Williams. Oh, yeah. so are we doing arraignments now? Yes. Who? The first one on our list. Oh, Louis. Louis Angel Feliciano Rivera. He bonded. Yeah, he bonded. He bonded. Oh, he bonded. Oh, the first. Okay, so this guy's gone. Jesse Williams should be next. Jesse Earl Williams. Yes, sir. All right. So, sir, you've already been appointed the um, public defender in your case. Um, it's Division 50. Do we know what date he's going to be? Yeah, but since this is Raymond, don't we usually give him their pretrial date? Your Honor, we'd like to enter a plea of not guilty. Oh, yeah, that's always a good thing to do. All right, so we'll enter a plea of not guilty. You, uh, Your next court date is going to be? In this case, it remains in Division 50. June the 4th at 2.30 p.m. Courtroom 7C. Yeah, I'll be shocked if it actually goes forward. Yes, okay, thank you, sir. All right, next is Childs. Excuse me, Your Honor. Um, I have a question. The charges that I'm being arraigned on are already been arraigned on on a separate case, on another case. Why am I being charged with this uh, arraign for the same charge twice? Violation of pretrial release on condition on domestic violence cases. What I have, oh, it's, it was reassigned. That's why. Oh, okay. I was confused. That's uh, so. What is it still under the same case, or is it on a separate case now? Because I'm confused. No, nah, it looks like it's under the same case, but it was reassigned. So was it reassigned to fifty? He violated one of his conditions of release, Your Honor. Okay. Well, the first thing I note on here is it says no attorney, but pursuant to the administrative order. Uh, the public defender is, is appointed to represent you. Uh, I have a copy of the summons. All right, well, what's he being arraigned on today? That he violated his release conditions. So it's a new charge? But he's already had his first appearance on it? Yes. So this is an IA? No, he's not on jail, uh, in jail on this case, Your Honor. No, I've been incarcerated. I've been here for four oh, months. Oh, are you serving in some of this? Has it been served? Yes. He has not been arrested. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He's not in jail on this case, Judge. Oh. They just issued us something. He and Jell on something else. They served him because he was there. Yes. So this is a new a new charge, a new case. Okay. So Assign it to Division 50 and give him dates. Okay. So this is a new case. All right. The reason you're being brought is because you were in on something else and they said, hey, we know where he is. Let's go serve this summons, charging you with a new charge. And they did. And the new charge is going to be in Division 50. Your pretrial is going to be, I'm guessing, June 7th. Yeah. Pretrial conference, June 4th. Oh, 4th. 2.30, courtroom 7C. Okay. okay. So, and I'm going to, I'm pointing the public defender. All right. So um, when I got arraigned last time for the PTR and the other two charges, is that the, what I'm getting a rain on right now, is that part of the same case or is it now a totally different other case? That's why I'm saying I'm confused because I was already... I'm not sure. What I got is that you're being arraigned on a violation of pretrial release conditions on a domestic violence case, which will be in Division 50. Uh, my advice to you would be um, get on the jail phone to your attorney, the public defender's office, and ask them to look into it. All right, thank you. Yeah, this case number is 2020 MM1692AO. 
Yeah, he's in on, on another case with that charge, Your Honor. That's what he's thinking about. He's got two. Yeah, he, he's got multiple cases that he's in on now, yes. Yeah, he was thinking he only had one, I guess. Yeah. All right. Is this Mr. Quinones Rosar, yo? Yes, sir. All right. Um, this is a trespass. We were going to make. Yeah, an this offer. is 2020 MM 285780. Is there an offer state? We were going to make an offer, but I think he has companion cases, Your Honor, a felony. Doesn't he, or did he not? No, he did not. Okay. We can make an offer for adjudication of guilt, um, credit time served, court costs, and no return to the scene of the trespass. Which was? Well, you look it up and then find out what he wants to do. All right. Uh, Mr. Quinones Rosario, um, you're here for arraignment today. And so what, typically what we would do is tell you what your next court date is. However, if you wish to resolve the case today, the state has made an offer of an adjudication of guilt, a conviction, give you credit for time served, whatever that is, probably two days or so. No, he's 34 days. Oh, 34. Oh, wow. Um, sentence you to 34 days, give you credit for the 34 days you've already done, order you to pay court costs and no return to the alleged uh, place of the incident. It's 11850 University Boulevard. Okay, uh, so you could not return to that place for the period of one year. If you want to resolve the case and accept that offer, you could enter a no contest plea. You would be waiving your right to have a trial, which you're, you have a right to do if you wish. You also have the public defender representing you already. So if you enter a plea today, you're essentially waiving your right to speak with your lawyer about the case. Um, but you can accept that and resolve it, or you can tell me, nope, I want to talk to my lawyer before I do anything. How do you wish to proceed? Talk to my lawyer. Talk to my lawyer. All right. So we'll enter a, a not guilty plea on your behalf. And uh, we have a pretrial date for him. Yes. Do you have any division 83? Two trial is June the 4th. I'm sorry. June the 15th. A.M. All right. Good luck to you, sir. All right. <laughs> Yana, we have the defendant back in Imperial. Oh, okay. All right, Mr. Uh, Imperial, I um, apologize for bringing you back, sir, but uh, it was pointed out that count five on the uh, new charges is uh, listed as dating violence. And I, I did give you a bond on that. However, um, oh, we also have count fours, domestic violence, battery domestic violence. So counts four and five, um, you are to have no contact whatsoever with the alleged victim in that case. If uh, you reside together, you must uh, reside elsewhere. Um, you can return to the residence one time with a... Um, under the supervision of the sheriff's office to return personal property or to recover personal property. Um, and you will possess no weapons, no firearms uh, while you're on pretrial release. So the reason we brought you back is because I failed to impose those conditions on the domestic violence charges and I had to do that. Oh, I PTR'd him? No, no, he does not have PTR, Your Honor. He doesn't qualify. Oh, I oh when I, well yeah you're right I I'm sorry I said pre-trial release what I meant was I'm thinking that if he bonds out he's released pre-trial but you're right when I say it it means something else so okay so anyway sir if you post those bonds those are going to be the conditions no contact maintain separate residence no weapons no firearms okay mm -hmm. all right Could I still have, um... sir. I still should be able to go and pick up my properties, right? Yes, sir. You may return to the residence with the supervision of the sheriff's office one time to re recover your personal property. And what's the question? What's the question? Did he sign a no? Oh, corrections. Did he sign a no contact? He did. Oh, he did. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. You can go back one time with what? sheriff's escort. What about she have already got rid of my properties? What do I do? Well, next? then 
Yeah, that's you'd have to take it up uh, some other way. You can sue in court or whatever you want to do. Do you see? All right. Sir, I can't tell you. You'd have to uh, speak with a lawyer about what your remedies would be. This is going along swimmingly. Are we going to get in a group? Are, are we on Davis Christensen yet? Uh, yes, this we are. On? Are yes, we say? are. Now we're on the DBs. <laughs> now we on the DBs, Your Honor. And that is the... We're back on Davis Christensen, and he also has a victim in the booth. All right. Can we swear in the victim? Raise your right hand. We swear according to testimony, shall give you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, ma'am. Your name for the record? It's Ashley Brazil. Deville? Brazil. Like Brazil, but without the R. Bazil. Okay, I got you, Bazil. All right, Ms. Bazil, do you wish to have contact uh, with Mr. Davis Christensen? Yes. You do? Yep. Your Honor, related to the facts of the case and the fact that there was uh, threats to stab, slice your throat, and so forth, we would ask for no contact. Well, to be candid with you, State, I was... A little bit surprised that the victim said they wish to have contact because I did read the affidavit. Um, but let's keep in mind it's an affidavit. It's not considered proof necessarily. Uh, Ma'am, are you, so you're telling me you are not in fear of Mr. Davis Christensen? No, sir. Does your child still live at the residence? Yes, sir. He's a good father. Well, I'm not saying he's not, ma'am, but I'm just saying that there's uh, there's certainly an allegation that he has an issue with anger and potentially substance abuse. I don't know. Um, but that's from what I'm looking at. And... The uh, allegations are somewhat egregious. Um, but you're here today telling me under oath that you wish to have contact with this person and you want him to move back into the residence. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, sir. State, do you have a uh, FCIC or an NCIC on this? Or, no, we wouldn't have that at IA, would you? Oh, wait. Well, I have this. <laughs> Sir, do you have an open case down in Brevard County? In what county? Brevard. Or, I mean, Broward. Broward. Yes, sir. This tells me that that case down in Broward County is also felony battery, domestic violence, damage of property, and violation of injunction. Is that your understanding? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, I'm not going to, ma'am, I, I appreciate your, your desire, but based on the history and based on the allegations, I'm not going to um, agree to contact at this time. Okay. Uh, okay. It will be no contact whatsoever, no phone, no text, no third parties. Uh, you must maintain separate residences. Um, I usually put notes on whether I'm going to bond. Uh, hang on a second. Is there no weapons or firearms also, Your Honor? Oh, absolutely. You may not possess any weapons, any firearms. Why is this not listed? Is it under strangulation? Maybe? Nope. Wow. How is this not listed in the bond schedule? We got egg assault, egg abuse, egg bat. Hmm. 
What degree is this state? Is it F3 or F2? All right, I'm gonna grant a bond of $2,500. You may not have any contact. You may return one time with the supervision of the Orange County Sheriff's Office to return or to retrieve personal items. Um, I will stay the bond at 5,000 on count two. If I can ask a question, sir. You may. Um, I got unemployed with COVID in March, and I'm uh, expecting um, unemployment. Um, if you could reduct the bond for the 5000 it would be appreciated. If not, it's okay. If I could what? Uh, re reduce the bond for the, uh, the $5,000 bond to something lower, like $3,000. Well, I'm giving you 2500 because I, I, I don't know... It's what? an F3, Your Honor. It's an F3. All right, so so that's really at the top end of that. But uh, I'm going to leave count two at 5000 Now, uh, you also have the public defender's office representing you. Your attorney is free to file a motion uh, to modify that bond in front of the judge who has this case or will have this case. Okay? I'm not willing to move it today. That was the uh, recommendation by the judge that signed the warrant. No bond on count one and 5000 on count two. I'm giving you a bond on count one, leaving it at 5,000, also with the conditions that there be no contact, you maintain separate residence, no weapons, no firearms. You may return one time with the sheriff to retrie retrieve personal belongings. Yes, sir. Okay, that was Davis Christensen, right? All right, so this is Desir. Mr. Sear? Yes, sir. All right. Um, all right, you've got a number of charges, and I believe. Oh, they put no bond on everything. Yeah, I do. All right, so you, you've got 2020 CF 6238A0. That is possession of cocaine. That is a thousand dollar bond. I will I will leave that. I'll stay that bond at one thousand. In 2020 CF 6263A0, uh, counts one and two are kidnapping. They're punishable by life. You are not entitled to a bond on those. I will uh, therefore not grant bond on those. Uh, on count. Three, which is ag bat on a pregnant. All right, on count three, I'll give you a thirty-five hundred dollar bond. Count four, which is aggravated assault, domestic violence, fifteen hundred dollar bond. Aggravated assault with a murder vehicle, a felony or misdemeanor? 1,000. Tampering with a witness to hinder communication with law enforcement, 3,500, 3,500. Uh, child abuse. Oh, 1,000 on count seven. Resisting officer without violence, 500. Is that it? I stayed the bond on the uh, other one. Yeah, um, should you be released somehow, you are to have no contact with any alleged victim in this case. You are to maintain separate residence, no weapons, no firearms. Uh, you may return one time with um, law enforcement to retrieve personal belongings. Okay, good luck to you. All right. Is this Mr. Alston? Yes, sir. All right, do we have a victim? Yes, Your Honor. 
Are they in the box? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, so person in the box, can you raise your right hand and be sworn? Yes. The whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. What's your name for the record? T.R. Jackson. All right, Ms. Jackson, uh, Mr. Allison has been arrested on a suspicion of domestic violence charge. Do you wish to have contact with Mr. Allison? Yes. You're not in fear of Mr. Allison? No. Do you have any issue uh, if he were to uh, become violent or threatening to you in the future, calling 911? No. All right, do you live together? Mm, like on and off, we have um, a child together. Oh, but he maintains a separate residence? Um, well, he's been there for a while, so yes, on and off. I don't know what that means. Like he, like he helps out, and then he'll probably leave for like a day or two, and then he'll come back. But most, most of the time, he's there. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to allow non-hostile contact. Non-hostile contact means, sir, you cannot yell at this person. You cannot raise your hand to her. You, if you threaten her in any way whatsoever, she can call the sheriff's office and have you put back in jail. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to set a bond of $1,000 on count one. Um, also, uh, if you do bond out, um, you can have non-hostile contact. You will, however, possess no weapons, no firearms. Um, I guess that's it, it, although it says she has a hold out of Hillsborough County. Okay. All right, good luck to you, sir. We can look at the issue, Your Honor, that he apparently the victim was holding the three-year-old when he grabbed her hair and pulled her down. And because of the issue with the child involved, um, I would ask the court to consider no contact, particularly since they apparently live at separate residences part of the time anyway. It's not clear to me about the residence issue. And I, I, I can appreciate the state's concern, but the victim's telling me that uh, she's not in fear of this person, and she is uh, willing to call 911 should there be any issues in the future. So I'm going to grant correct. the request. I'm going to grant the request. Thank you. Oh, this? Can I just hand them to you? That's okay. Go ahead. Well, no, I'm just, where is it? Up underneath that paper you got in your hand. Just affidavit on top. Affidavit. Oh. <laughs> when you address it, you address it off the page. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. Is this Mr. Bass? Yes, sir. All right. Mr. Bass. I All right, do you need the uh, case number? Does anybody need the case number? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing that every time? All right, so this is 2020 MM 2258AO. Um, got a whole bunch of violations of pre trial. Oh, this is the texting or phone or whatever, yeah. All right, so I had reviewed this previously, and sir, I'm gonna grant um, a bond on count one of $2,000 and a bond of $100 on all subsequent counts. Uh, however, you're out on bond on 2019 CF 1543980. Um, Apparently, the bond was 25000 on count one and 100 on count two. And I'm going to revoke and street that bond, both of those bonds. Um, and, sir, I'm going to, I'm not going to set a bond on that. You're going to have to uh, ask your attorney. You have the public defender, or if you have a private attorney, you have to ask your attorney to file a motion for bond in the 
2019 felony case. Okay, sir, but the bond with, that you are uh, revoking, I have been, done impeccable job out there the five months. I haven't had any contact with the victim. I used the UA. I, I uh, kept in contact sir, with my lawyer. But these sir, things are things from the, uh, the county jailhouse. Sir, before hold the phone. This, yes, before I was hang let on. out on bond. This happened bef before I was even let out yeah. on bond. Well, no, yeah. because I read the affidavit and the detective called Ms. Goodwin, I think it was, and heard you in the background during the investigation on this. No, so, sir. It's well, just okay. something to pick me up a witch hunt. Your Honor, I'd like to advise the client to not speak about the facts of his yeah. case. That's, that's good advice. Um, yeah, obviously there's going to be no contact with the victim, uh, maintain separate residence, no weapons, no firearms. Um, sir, the, the things that you're talking about, uh, I would suggest that you get on the phone with your attorney, talk to them about that. They can file appropriate motions if you feel that the uh, conditions I'm setting are, are unjust. Okay? Um, yes, but, sir. But do I, do, I do have a right to speak on my behalf, uh, correct? And I ain't going to say nothing to incriminate okay. myself. All these sir, accusations on. Sir, hold before I was even let out on the Can you please on, on. wait a minute yes, sir. before you say anything? Yes, Your sir. attorney's already advised you that it is not prudent for you to speak about the case. That's their you advice, but I still have the opportunity. With your Come on. Sir, you should speak about these things with your lawyer because then they're, they're privileged. Anything you're saying right now is completely on the record. Yes, sir. And can I, be used against you. I'm aware of that. Okay. I'm, Thank you. I am. That's that's my ruling. You are free to seek redress of that ruling uh, in the appropriate court. Good luck to you. All right. Was that Bass? Troy Brown. Yes, sir. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, is this the guy that was fixing his truck? Yeah. Mm. State, when is the, the, the injunction that he violated here, I think, expires on June 2nd, right? Yeah. Uh, do we have the alleged victim here? No, Judge. Sir, are you, you, you're living somewhere else right now? Um, at the present time, I was sleeping in the, my truck on the front yard, and I was running the court from the garage to inside. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, let's... Before you go any further, it sounds like you'd be admitting to something you shouldn't be admitting to. Um, State, do you have a recommendation? This, this, I read the affidavit. Apparently, he needed to fix his trucks. His tools were in the garage. He went back to the house to get his tools. He was working on it. He said, yeah, I got an injunction. I know I have an injunction. He wasn't apparently doing anything or threatening anybody. The wife called and said, hey, he's got an injunction. He was required to stay away from the residence, property, school, or place in the employment of the protected person. So, and he doesn't. Uh, corrections. He, he does not qualify for PTR. Correct. No, he does not, Your Honor. Because he doesn't have a residence. Uh, he wasn't able to provide any information that could be investigated. No. Your Honor. All right, sir, I'm, that's fine. I'm going to give him a hundred dollar bond. Sir, you, I'm, I'm setting your bond at 100 bucks. You are to abide by the no contact order. Yes, sir. That you're currently under. You cannot live outside the house, I suppose, unless it's more than 500 feet. That'd be a long extension cord. But, uh, but you can't be within 500 feet of the house. And your um, conditions of bond on this case are going to be that you have no contact. Um, uh -huh. I, un I understand that. 
All due respect, Your Honor, but I have one thing to say, Stephanie Brown. She's a very honest woman, and but she has always stated to me that I'm not allowed on the property. And I Your read Honor, this I the other advise day. Advise the client to not speak about the facts of the case. Sir, your your attorney is advising that you not speak about the case. What what my suggestion would be is you you get on the phone with the public defender, or I think they have a closed circuit set up, and speak with your lawyer about these things. I think okay. that would be more okay. prudent. Okay, I understand that. Okay, I, I got you now. Your Honor, I appreciate Your Honor. that. You. I understand now. Uh, uh, and for the record, that is case number 2020-MM234AA. Did you I did. Okay. I think I spoke about the uh, affidavit extensively. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> okay. Uh, Judge, it was, it was an honor. It was an honor. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you. Hey, thank you. God bless everybody. All right. Uh, should be Thomas Carlin next. Yes, sir. This is Mr. Carlin? Yes, sir. All right. Um, do we have a witness? No, Your Honor. Is that no? Okay. All right. Um, sir. I'm going to set your bond on the domestic violence case at $1,500. You are to have no contact whatsoever with the victim. You are to possess no weapons, no firearms. You may return to the uh, residence one time within the, with the custody of Orange County Sheriff to retrieve any personal belongings. And on your providing false ID to law enforcement, which you were uh, released on your own recognizance. I'm going to revoke ROR. Set your bond at $500 on that case. That's 2020 MM 687 AO. And this one was 2020 MM 3676 AO. All right, good luck to you. I did find PC. Yes. And I found PC. Oh, wait, remember I made the general announcement that I reviewed all the affidavits and I found PC in every case? I did say that. Okay. 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 I forgot. <laughs> all right. Uh, is this Miss uh, Jumlat? Do Jumlat? Close. Jumlat. Like, Jumlat. All right. Mm -hmm. Sorry. All right. Um, do we have a victim in this? No, Your Honor. All right. So uh, you qualify for pretrial release. State, this is the um, husband and wife weren't getting along. Do you have any feeling on contact? I was hoping we have a victim to speak. The victim isn't present. We usually always ask for no contact because yeah. she can't say what she wants. Your Honor, he qualifies for a pretrial release. She does. I am going to. Oh, sorry, she. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm giving her PTR. The only question in my mind is contact. Um, but, you know, in the absence of the, the victim, uh, I'm, I'm going to, ma'am, I'm going to release you on pretrial release. You don't have to post a bond. You will have to, uh, sign up with pretrial release and be supervised. Um, and until we can hear from your husband, uh, there, you're going to be under no contact order. That means you can't have contact. You can't text, phone, call. Have somebody else call. You have to maintain a separate residence. You cannot possess any weapons or firearms. <laughs> and you may return one time with law enforcement to retrieve personal belongings. Now, you also have the public defender representing you. They are free. They can file a motion to modify that and allow you home if, if your husband uh, is agreeable. Um, but until we have some clarification on that issue, it's going to be a no contact order, okay? Okay. Um, I have a question. The home is under my name. And all Doesn't that matter. Name. Okay. Doesn't matter. You can't go back. Okay. okay. I found PC. Oh, wait. That's right. We decided I had covered that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
All right, uh, Mr. Kalika? Yes, sir. All right. Um, all right. We have a, a victim? Yes, you do. Yes, we do, Honor. All right, are they in the box? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, sir or madam, can you raise your right hand and be sworn? Sir, I'm trying to testify. Should I give you the truth? I hope you do nothing but the truth. I swear. State your name for the record. Anjani Jennifer Kalika. All right. Ms. Kalika, I assume you, you and the defendant are married, correct? Uh, no, we're brother and sister. Oh. Oh, wait, is this the one where, does he have another residence? Or do you all live together with your mom? We live together. Okay. Um, do you wish to have uh, contact with your brother? Yes. Are you telling me that you would like him to come back home? Yes. Are you in fear of your brother? No. And if something were to happen again, would you have any problem calling 911, knowing no. that he would be arrested and brought back to jail? Yes. You would have a problem doing that? No, 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 Honor. You're prepared to call the sheriff if he's acting up again? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Is your mom there by any chance? Uh, no, you know, Your Honor. All right. Your Honor, there, there are... Uh other people involved, including Dudenoth, and that was a person that uh, the uh, defendant threatened to kill. So um, I think we still need a separate residence. That's the mom, isn't it? Yeah. Doki? Doki? There's also D-O-O-D-N-A-U-T-H that there was a threat to kill. Can I say something, sir? I don't know if you should. I mean, you can, but not usually advisable. There was no threat. She can tell Your that Honor, as well. I would, excuse me, um, Mr. Kalika, this is the public defender. I would advise you to not speak about the, fa the facts of your case. Got it. Uh, Ms. Fukos, I'm looking for the... So I got the mom, the sister. Are you talking about Doordat? That Yoki Doordat. That's um, that's the mom. Something, Your Honor. Oh, I see. I see. Du Dudnoth. Mm-hmm. Dudnoth. Who's? That's uh, my stepfather. That's your stepfather. Yes, Your Honor. How old's your stepfather? Sixty-three. Does he live in the same residence, ma'am? Yes. You asked for a separate residence and no contact related to that, Your Honor. Well, okay. Here's the thing. The, the arrest affidavit does identify Mr. Dordat, if I'm saying it correctly. As a witness, um, it doesn't indicate that the defendant made any threats towards that person. The Ten lines from the bottom is it where it says threatened to kill him. Oh, the text message, mm -hmm. right? So he came out of a room and then he threatened to kill him. That was after the witness that's currently here. Oh, 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 I see, I see. All right. I'm going to err on the side of caution. I'm going to, um, sir. I'm setting your bond on count one at $1,000. I'm going to stay the bond on count two at $500. You will be under a no contact order, which means you must maintain a separate residence. You cannot have contact through phone call, text, mail, third parties at all. No contact whatsoever. You 
Also, um, if you bond out, you will possess no weapons and no firearms. You may return one time to the residence with the uh, escort of law enforcement to retrieve personal belongings. Um, you may seek a uh, modification of that decision uh, by talking to your lawyer about filing a motion. All right, but um, today that's going to be a no contact order. All right, good luck to you. All right, thank you. I give you Kalika? Uh, okay, and so now we're on to Orta. All right, do we have um, a victim here? No, Your Honor. All right. Oh, this, they, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, this guy that went to the bar. Yeah. Okay, so they, they're already separate residents. All right, sir, I'm setting your uh, bond on count one at uh, $1,500. I'm going to leave your bond on count two at $500. Um, you are to have no contact whatsoever with the alleged victim. You maintain separate residence. Uh, you will have possessed no weapons, no firearms. Um, and you don't need to return because you already are not living there. Oh, do we have two cases? The BOP. Oh, well, the Seminole County case is, uh, that's, we have to contact them and. Yeah, so, all right, so, sir, your VOP out of Seminole County, um, you're going to be held on, on a no bond status pending our contact to Seminole County and uh, them giving us direction as to what they want to do on that case, okay? But your Orange County case is, it's 1,500 on count one, stay the bond, 500 on count two, no contact, no weapons, uh, no firearms if you do bond out. Oh, um, so, and the Orange County case number is 2020 MM 3699 AO. So, um, you're saying then even if I bond out, then I still can't leave, right? Because you got to wait for Seminole County. You have a hold from Seminole County. Okay. Um, typically, what, what's happening is uh, somebody, court admin or, or the jail, is contacting Seminole County saying, Hey, we're holding one of your people. What do you want to do? And uh, the judge will either say, well, grant them a bond or keep them there. We'll come get them or whatever it is. And then once they respond, we'll bring you back to this courtroom. Okay, so, and so, so just wait to on the bond until you hear back? I, I would. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Quinn? Yes, sir. Good morning. All right. Good afternoon, rather. All right. This is... Uh, Yeah, okay, this is case number 2020-MM-235-AA. Oh, yeah, now this came in as not domestic violence. But the affidavit certainly sounded like it. I got, I got, I got that. Do we have, uh, let me guess, we don't have a witness, a victim? Yes, yes we do, Your Honor. We do? Yes. Okay. All right, ma'am, can you raise your right hand and be sworn? Yes. The testimony shall give me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Uh, yes. What's your name for the record? Alicia She. Which one? It should be checking. This battery touch or strike, and up here it's not. Yeah, right there, Jack. You want the wine for DV. Oh. You didn't put DV on there. Right. All right, Miss <laughs> Sehe, do you. Uh, What's your relationship to Mr. Quinn? Uh, he's my boyfriend. All right. Um, do you live together? Um, yeah, we're actually um, homeless, and we do live together. Okay. Do you wish to have contact with Mr. Quinn? Yes, for sure. All right. You're not in fear of Mr. Quinn? Not at all. If Mr. Quinn has another incident, are you have any problem calling 911 knowing he's going to go back to jail? No, I wouldn't have a problem with that. If he did something. Well, right. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Quinn, I'm going to give grant you a $1,000 bond 
on uh, count one. Is that $100, sir? To a bondsman, I suppose. Okay. But it's a $1,000 bond. Um, I will allow you to have non-hostile contact with Ms. Sheehy. Thank you, sir. That means you can't raise your voice to her. You can't look at her funny. If you do anything that puts her in any gives her any concern or fear, she can call 911 and have you arrested and brought back to jail, and you won't get out that time. Yes, sir, I understand, understand that. Yes, sir. All right, you also possess no weapons or no firearms if you do post this bond. No, sir. All right, and I did put the case number on, right? 2020-MM-235-88. All right, I think that's it. Good luck to you. Thank God you. God bless you. Have a good day. Uh. No firearms, too. Is this, uh, God, we got to pick it up, don't we? <laughs> Solano, is this Mr. Solano? Yes, Your Honor. All right, do we have a, a victim? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, all right, uh, ma'am, can you raise, is it ma'am, let's see. Can you raise your right hand to be sworn? Yes. I'm trying to testimony so I give you. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear anything. They couldn't hear you, Madam Clerk. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. What's your name for the record? Carol Serrano. All right, and this is your son, right? That's right. All right, uh, do you wish to have contact with your son, ma'am? Yes. Are you in fear of him? No. You have any problem calling 911 if he acts up, knowing that he'll come back to jail and probably won't get out? No. You don't have a problem with that? No, I don't. All right. Uh, I'll note that he qualifies for pretrial release. I'm going to release you on pretrial release, sir. Uh, because your mother says she wishes to have contact with you, I'm going to allow non-hostile contact. That means you cannot threaten her, raise your voice to her, look at her funny. If she feels threatened in any way, she can call 911 and have you brought back to jail and you won't get out that time. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Also, while you're uh, on pretrial release, you will possess no weapons or no firearms. Good luck to you. May I ask a question? Sir, you have the public defender representing you. You should get on the uh, phone or the closed circuit TV and speak with them about your case. Mr. Tipton? Yes, Your Honor. All right, do we have a uh, victim? Yes, Your Honor. All right, ma'am, can you raise your right hand to be sworn? I'll turn the testimony should be the truth, nothing but the truth. Yes. What's your name for the record? Christina Tipton. All right, Ms. Tipton, do you wish to have contact with your husband? No. Okay, perfect. Um, Mr. Tipton, I'm going to grant you bond of $1,500 on count one. However, the following conditions will apply. You will have no contact whatsoever with Mrs. Tipton. You may not return to the residence. You have to live elsewhere. And when I say no contact, I mean no texts, no phone calls, no calling your buddy to call your wife, whatever it may be. No contact means no contact. You will also possess no weapons or no firearms uh, if you do post this bond. You may return to the res residence one time under the custody uh, or under the supervision of law enforcement to retrieve personal belongings. All right. Good luck to you. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. Fifteen hundred. No contact. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. We got. We got. <clears throat> we got to start rocking and rolling here. We're. Yeah, <clears throat> I think so. I'm done with it. <clears throat> All right, is this Mr. Battaglia? Yes, Your Honor, I'm Mr. Battaglia. Yes, indeed. All right, this is uh, case number 2020-CF-622880, possession of cocaine. Um, Mr. Battaglia qualifies for pretrial release. Sir, I will uh, uh, release you on pretrial release. Thank you. Stay in touch with your attorney. 
Do you want any conditions with that, Your Honor, or just straight pretrial? You, you want testing? No, I'm just asking you, Your Honor, if you want any conditions with that. You don't have to put any on if you don't want them. No, just, you know, I mean, when I say pretrial release, you, th there's monthly reporting and yes, stuff Your like Honor. that, right? Yes, yes. So, okay, so I'll just say standard conditions. Okay. That sounds pretty good, standard conditions. Sounds official. Okay. Right? All right, Ms. Ms. Battle? Yes, sir. Batali, Battle, how do you say it? Regina Battle. Battle, all right. Um, oh, boy. All right, this is case number <coughs> 2020 CF 6227. I'm kidding, Joe. Okay. <laughs> 2020 uh, CF 6227AO, uh, meth, possession, methamphetamine, and drug paraphernalia. Uh, I'm going to stay the bonds on those charges at count one, 1,000, count two, 100. Now, you are out on bond in case number 2020 CF 2980AO. Uh, I'm going to revoke and to street that bond, I set that bond at $1,000. In case number 2020-CF-2876-AO, uh, I'm going to revoke ROR, set that bond at $1,000. In case number 2020-MM-290-AW, um, wait, was there a bond on that? Wait a minute. Was, um, oh, shoot. 290. Okay, that was 290. Sorry. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, but that was the false ID. So I want, I meant to say 500. 500 for the MM? Yeah, 290. See, I went. Wait, it's the 2020 CF 2980. No, it's, it's 2020 MM29. No, 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 I know. I, I'm saying in my head I was looking oh, at the okay. other one. Okay. The 28760, which I wanted to set revoke ROR, set that at 1,000, and I did. So that one's done. That one's done. So now we are up to 2020 CF. No, we did that one. No, we didn't do that one. Okay, yeah, I'm going to revoke, terminate that bond. Count one's fifteen hundred. Count two is one hundred. Is this and on now four zero six eight, Your Honor? Was that what that was for? No, this is two nine eight zero. Yeah, this is two nine eight zero. Okay. Four zero six eight. I've just got two. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. So on four zero six eight, revoke ROR one thousand. And did I do the other one? The, Two eight seven six. Yes, you did. One oh, I did. Oh, that was the first one. Yeah, this is confusing. Okay. So M M two nine zero A W. That's five hundred. Yes. And all the other remaining what? Thousand. Two um C F two thousand C F two eight seven six. That's a thousand. Two nine eight zero. Count one is fifteen hundred. Count two is one hundred. And then four zero six eight. That's one thousand. Thank you. And then on the the new one, I stayed them yes. at I think it was a thousand and one hundred. Yes. Okay. Bennett. Yes, sir. All right, Bennett. Uh. Yep, Mr. Bennett, I'm going to stay your bond on that at 1,000. This is, uh, oh, sorry, case number 2020 CF 6236AO. Stay the bond at 1,000. All right. Okay. Come on. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, Bradley? Yes, sir. All right. Um, on count, this is case number. <clears throat> Where's the case number? Oh, 2020 CF 6262A. Is that W or O? 
That looks like a W. That looks like a W. Okay. All right, AO. Uh, I grant you a bond of $1,500 on count one. I'll stay the bonds on count two and three at 100. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Yonder, the next person on the docket, Michael, Michael Brandon. Brandon Bonded. Okie doke. So that should bring us to Calderon. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Calderon, uh, case number 2020-CF-6232-AO. 2020 uh, I'm going to stay the bond at 1,000. Okay, here's, so here's one. Oh, well, look at that. Now he showed up. Oh, no, this was in here. All right, uh, is this Mr. Castillo Aravallo? Yes, Your Honor. All right, sir, I'm going to, I've reviewed your affidavit. I'm going to stay your bonds at 1,000 on count one, 150 on count two. Good luck to you. All right, is this uh, Claire Vo? Yes, sir. Marquis. All right, Mr. Mr. Claire Vo. Uh, in case number 2020-CF6212AO, carrying concealed firearm, uh, I'm going to grant you bond at $2,500. Now, you're also being held on an out-of-county warrant and at, le at least one. Is there two? Yes, sir. Okay, but isn't it the same thing where we're contacting them? Yeah. Yeah, same thing. All right. But is there another one? No. I mean, keep all that. Okay. All right. So, uh, sir, I'm granting you a bond of twenty-five hundred dollars on the on your Orange County case, and you, but uh, you will be held in Orange County until uh, Seminole County responds on the violation of probation and tells us uh, what they want us to do with it. You'll be brought back to court once we get once we hear from Seminole County, okay? Okay. All right. Good luck to you. All right. All right, Davidson. Sir. All right, Mr. Davidson. Um, this is 2020 CF 6230 AO uh, on the grand theft. Uh, I'm gonna set the bond at two thousand dollars. Um, do I have to do something on this future? See, that's what I've seen. Was, didn't I sign a bunch of those this morning? Yeah, so one, the future case, one more. I don't know if she signed one for Davis. Uh -uh. It'll come uh, next week. So they'll, but they'll have to bring them back yes. on that or something? Yes. All right, sir, I'm giving you a $2,000 bond on your uh, Orange County case. You have a apparently an outstanding warrant or something from somewhere else. And once that jurisdiction responds, they'll bring you back to court and tell you what they're doing with that. Okay. All right. Good luck to you. All right. Mr. Davis. Yes. Davis. Yes. All right. This is case number 2019 CF 9377 AO. Uh, you failed to appear. Um, The uh, underlying charge was a uh, felony possession, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Sir, I'm going to set your bond at $1,000. How on the failure to appear? Yeah. It's okay if you didn't have a bond. I mean, it came no bond, but you didn't have a bond. Yeah, but don't, that's only on the arrest, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. So probably the, the trial judge wants to see him. Gail? State, you got a, a position on this? It's an FTA, but the warrant was set at no bond, but typically isn't that the IA judge going to? The only thing I'm thinking is on a failure to appear, maybe Judge Adams wants to see him in her courtroom so she can 
find out what's going on. Do you have it, but you don't have a position either way? I would leave it, held it, no bond, and then let that be a yeah, I think you're right. years before Judge Adams. Sir, the, the judge that signed your warrant for failing to appear, was it Judge? And I don't know who signed it, but my guess is it's probably Judge Adams. And so she said it at no bond. And, and typically what that means is that judge wants you to show up in her courtroom so she can talk to you about the fact that you didn't show up. So I'm going to leave it at no bond. You do have the public defender. You can contact them about filing a motion and, and seeing if you can get in front of Judge Adams as soon as possible. Okay. All right. Good luck to you. That took too long. Mr. Deering? Yes, sir. Oh, I think we have a husband and wife here. All right, Mr. Deering, um, this is case number 2020 CF 6254AO. Uh, sir, I'm going to stay your bonds at 1,000 on count one and 100 on count two. Good luck to you. Thank you. Oh, did I, did I give you the wife too just now? Wanda? Yeah, that's what I mean. All right, Mrs. Deering. Ms. Deering. Uh, all right, I'm going to stay your bonds um, at 1,000 and 100 on count one and count two, respectively, in case number 2020 CF 6252A. Oh, so you thought I forgot. Good luck to you. Thank you. Mr. Durham. One second, Your Honor. I'm going too fast for him now. Oh, man. It's going to be close by 1.30. We got to... He bonded. Who bonded? Oh, he bonded? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Love it. All right, Mr. Felton. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Felton, uh, you have, are these all the same case? Yeah, uh, 2020 CF 6214AO. Um, in that case, I'm going to stay the bonds. You have 1,000 on count one, 100 on count two, 100 on count three. Um, why are there four counts on this sheet? There's another case here. Oh, oh, I see, I see. The first one of oh, the fleeing and looting is a different case number. I got you. Which one did I read off? Well, I read off the fleeing and looting, didn't I? I did. Okay, so I'll stay those bonds at 1,100 and 100, and then in 6214AO, um, Oh, that comes in at no bond. I'll set that at $1,000. Thank you, Your Honor. And, and, then, and then I'm going to revoke ROR in case number 2020 CF 3380AO. Set that bond at 1500 There's seven counts, Your Honor. You're kidding. Well, 100 on all subsequent counts then. So 1500 and then 100 on 1500 the 1500 and 100 on each of the rest of them. Two to seven. What are you talking about? Two through seven. Oh, two through seven. Yes. I thought you'd give me another case number. I'm like, what? Yes. Two through seven, 100. 1,500 on one, 100 on two through seven. Whew. All right. Is this Mr. Howard? Nope. Good luck to you, sir. All right, um, is this Mr. Howard? Yes. All right, Mr. Howard. Um, you have, this is case number 2020 CF 6233AO. Uh, both of these, count one and count two, um, you're not entitled to a bond on those charges and I'm not going to uh, give you one. And 
You also apparently have warrants from some other jurisdiction. And once we hear back from those jurisdictions on what they want to do with you, you will be brought back to the courtroom. But you'll be held on no bond on the Orange County cases. All right, good luck to you. Mr. Hurley? Yes, sir. Something tells me, Mr. Hurley, have you been in my courtroom on a driving license suspended before? No, sir. Oh, all right. Uh, sir, you have a $2,500 bond on this in case number 2020-CF6249-AO. I'm going to stay that bond. Good luck to you. Thank you. Mr. McDonald? How you doing? I'm doing just dandy. Uh, you have case number... Is there no case number? Oh, here it is. 2020 CF 6264AO. No. Is that Mr. Mo is this Mr. Malmano? That's correct. Okay, I think I think that's your case number. 2020 CF 6264AO. Um, your bond is five thousand dollars on the attempted robbery. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to stay that bond and set at five thousand. Good luck to you. Uh, may I ask a question? Is the ten percent available for the bond? Uh, well, typically, but you'll have to uh, you'll have to ask the bondsman. Thank you. Okay, is this Mr. Negron? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Negron. Um, okay, you, this is wow. You've got case number 2020-CF5175-AO. You also have 2020-CF5264-AO. You also have 2020-CF... Oh, wait, are these, are these the probation cases? Or, okay, hang on. Here's the one I know I have to address. This is 2020-CF6223-AO. Okay, so I don't have to worry about these other ones? Well, I don't know what those He's already been seen on those other. He's been IA'd on those other cases. Oh. This is the so the only one I'm doing is, is letting them know whether Six, I'm going to give them bond on, yeah, on the armed burglary? 6223, Your Honor. That case. I made notes, but I'm going to... Okay. Well, I made notes in the wrong place. All right. Uh, I'll grant your bond of ten thousand on count one. I'll stay the Runner, bonds. We're, we were asking for no bond on that count. Oh. Okay. Why is that? Um, because it's uh, armed and it's a life offense. Uh, you know what? I actually I looked at the schedule this morning when I reviewed these, and I think it qualified. It wasn't. Is it PBL? Is it AMA, Anti-Murder Act? No. Because all I could find was... Burglary with a firearm. Huh? The armed burglary with a firearm is a PBL. No, with assault firearm is PBL. Ar burglary armed or with assault attempt with a firearm must be set by, that's not PBL. To, to my knowledge, armed or with a assault firearm, any kind of arm. Oh, I see. They listed it twice to be, wait a minute. Well, then why would they do that? What's the difference? They've even got the, the statute number listed twice, one under PBL and one not under PBL. With the same they're both, subsections. They're both PBL. Not on mine. I mean, the, on mine, it is and it isn't. It's both. Which is why it was confusing when I looked. All right. Uh, in an abundance of caution, this is, sir, this may be punishable by life. Therefore, you're not entitled to a bond. 
yes, under sir. Florida law. You can, uh, you have the public defender representing you on this case. You can certainly speak to them about filing any appropriate motions that you feel necessary. But at right. the moment, uh, on that case, which was 6223 AO, no bond. I'll stay the uh, bonds on the other counts, which were 1,000 on each subsequent count. Okay, that, why does it have, on my schedule, it's got the exact same statute number with the exact same subsection listed as PBL and then right below it as must be set by IA judge. That, somebody's gotta change that, that's confusing. All right, is this Mr. Nieves? Yes. All right, Mr. Nieves, in case number 2020, CF 6126AO, I'm gonna stay your bonds on counts one through four at $1,000 each. And in case number 2020 CF 1144 AO, I'm gonna revoke a street your ROR and set the, uh, I guess I'm not a streeting since it's ROR, sorry. <laughs> I'll revoke ROR and set that bond at 1500. Good luck to you. And I believe there's two counts on that, your honor. With a possession of cocaine and a drug paraphernalia. All right, 100 on, 100 on any subsequent counts. Yeah. The next person on the docket, Your Honor, Charles Parson, refused court. Okie doke. Oh, Your Honor, we can waive his appearance. Okay. Uh, the, attorney, the public defender is waiving his appearance on Mr. Parson. So, um, and my note to myself was I was going to release him on pretrial release because he qualifies for that and stay with their account. No, there was no count two. No, he qualified for PTR, so I was going to let him out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any condi extra conditions with that, Your Honor? No, standard conditions. I like that standard conditions. That's good. All right, is this Mr. Pollard? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, this is case number 2020. CF 5969AO, your bond is set at $7,500. I am staying that bond. Good luck to you. All right. Mr. Pressa? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Pressa, this is case number 2020CF 6239AO. I'm going to stay your bonds in that case at $5,000 on count one and $100 on count two. Good luck to you, sir. Mr. Ramos? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Ramos, um, you have fleeing and eluding. In case number 2020 CF 6243 AO, I'm going to set your bond at 1500 in that case. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Robinson? Hello. Oh, this is a failure to appear. This is case number 20, oh, 2018 CF 2954AO. All right, they've been looking for you for a while. I'm going to leave that at no bond, sir. You're going to have to seek a bond from the judge on that case. Good luck to you. All right, Mr. Rodriguez. How you doing, sir? Uh, doing fine. Uh, this is case number 2020CF6229AO. 6229 really? Thousand dollars on armed robbery? Oh, it was attempted. Oh, attempted. All right. I'll stay that bond. I think it's low, but I'll stay it. Um, Thank you, sir. And, but, well, hang on, we're not done. Uh, because you were also out on 2020 MM 2422AO, it was a notice to appear. Wait a minute, notice to appear. No, I, I know that, but, but, so he, had he appeared? How can I, there's nothing to revoke or anything, is there? Yes. Well, since it's out on an NTA. Right. He he just had so so. In other words, the the arraignment hasn't happened yet. Your Honor, can we ask for no action? Yeah, I'm not going to take any action. There. All right. 
No action on the NTA. It hasn't even happened yet. Crying out loud, give him a chance to show up. Thank you, sir. All right, uh, Mr. Sanchez... Volbrecht. Volbrecht? Yes, Sanchez sir. Volbrecht? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, sir, you've got Duelist as a habitual offender. Uh, bond was set at $2,500. i am leaving at $2,500. Good luck to you. Scott, Mr. Scott? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, this is 2020 CF 6257AO. Um, your bond on that is $1,000. I will stay the bond at $1,000. Good luck to you. Schaefer? Yes, sir. All right. Um, Schaefer, you've been charged in 2020 CF 4042AO uh, with petty theft. However, you've got at least two prior convictions. The bond set at $1,000. I'm going to stay the bond at $1,000. Good luck to you. Mr. Smith? Yes, sir. All right, uh, 2020 CF 6219AO. Um, I'll set your bond on the fleeing attempting to elude at uh, $1,500. I will stay the bond on count two at 100, resisting, and then you must have another case. In case number. Wait a minute, I got a CT case number here. Case number. Oh, okay. So this is 20 CT 336 AO. The uh, bond is 500. I'll stay that. 1500. Or, yeah, so in 2020 CF 6219 AO, 1500 count one. Stay the bond at 100 on count two. In 2020 CT 3306 AO, I'll stay the bond at 500. All right, good luck to you. Uh, James Taylor. Yes, sir. Love the music. All right. Uh, this is <clears throat> case number 19, 19. 2019 CF 14765AO. Hmm. All right. Well, you got a bond of $1,000. I'm going to stay the bond. What's this other case? Do I have to deal with this? He just has to. Oh, wait. Well, no, there's another case. There's another case. It's not him. It's just. Never mind. All right, sir. So I'm going to um, stay your bond at $1,000 on 2019 CF 14765AO. And, Your Honor, it looks like it was actually set at a bond or PTR. Um, he, doesn't yeah, but... he doesn't qualify for pretrial release, though. So. So if you could ju just set a bond. Right. That's why I wasn't going to okay. give him pre-trial list because okay. it said, said he didn't qualify. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate that. No, this was, this, it's a different defendant. It was, it was, oh, okay. sir, good luck to you. It was just a thousand dollars. Yeah, a thousand bucks. This is Lazaro Vela. I don't know where that came from. Um, Your Honor, the next person on the docket, Lazaro Vela. Refuse court. Your Honor, we waive his appearance. You know, you know why I stuck this one sideways? Because I didn't find. You know why I didn't find that one? Because it was stapled to, on the back of the other guy. Okay. All right. Um, so the public defender has waived defendant Vela's appearance in case number twenty twenty CF six two four two A O. Uh, I will go ahead and stay those bonds at 3500 on count one and 150 on count two. All right, we should be on uh, Williams. Mm -hmm. Ms. Williams? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Williams, this is case number 2020 CF 6241AO. Petty theft, uh, two prior convictions, trespass, open container. I'm going to stay those bonds at 1,000 on count one and 100 each on counts two and three. You also have, in case number 20, CF211AO, uh, 
You were out on bond. It doesn't say what amount. Uh, but that was also felony theft. Well, it was petty theft with two prior convictions, so I'm assuming it was, yeah, it's a felony CF. So I'm going to revoke the bond in that and set your new bond at 1500 in that case. Good luck to you. Oh, what was this? Wanda Williams? Were you looking her up? All right. All right, I think we're now into, are we in traffic? Oh, we're in traffic. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so, I believe, is this uh, Mr. Castro? Uh, yes, yes, Your Honor. Possession of a Florida driver's license. That's illegal. Yeah. I know, but it's written. Do you see the way it's written up? Mm -hmm. Possession of a Florida driver's license. I have a Florida driver's license. All right. Sir, in case number 20 CT 329580, you have a bond set at $250. I'll leave it there. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, yeah, I remember, look, this. I'm not taking any action on the, the case that you're out on bond on, even though the charges are somewhat, but, well, the allegation anyway is uh, serious. But I didn't see anything in the affidavit that, that indicated this had anything to do with anything. So I'm not taking any action on the. He got pulled over for a traffic stop. He happened to be out on bond on that other egregious case. Two fifty, no action. Two fifty. I'm not taking any action on, on your other bonds, sir. That you're out on, that you were out on. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Can you tell him communication because this defendant let me make sure that's our Teleconference? Yeah, wait. Not him. Not him. No, he's done. He's you're done. Ma'am, what's your name? Melanie Young. Is that the one private attorney? Okay. Oh, this is the one where you got to call Mr. Brown? I got him on the line. Mr. Brown? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, we have Ms. Young here. Um, okay. I'm, well, I don't have a... Is the reason I don't have this is because she's got an attorney? No, she should be... This is her. This is her. Mrs. Young is not. That's her. Oh, Zachary. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, she got an AKA. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Brown, we have your client here. You got two cases, 2020 MM121 AE and 20 CT374 AE. Um, the bonds are set currently in the first case at 500 and the second case at 500. Uh, I'm inclined to stay those bonds. You have, uh, you want to be heard on that? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Your Honor. Michael Brown on behalf of um, Ms. Young. Judge, um, I entered an appearance yesterday for her Seminole County case, her VOP. Um, she can't be transported yet. Um, I'm going to ask the court to ROR her on these counts. And the reason why, Judge, is... She's, she just finished a sentence on an Orange County case that Ms. Sweet um, pled her to. And then, you know, then last night a, or, or the night before, a, an, a Maitland police officer comes in and adds on these two cases, not, not during her sentence, at the end of her sentence, on, and, and puts two misdemeanors down from her, the arrest date of December 30th. And, and you know, I would like, you know, when, when transportation starts, or hopefully at the beginning of June, I'd like to get her over to the Seminole County Jail and try to see Judge Alva if I can't resolve it with Judge Marquez on the current Supreme Court order to, if we can resolve a BOP with the state attorney up in Seminole County. So I'd ask the court at this time to ROR her uh, as a matter of equity at this point, Judge. I mean, she would have been way done with her sentence had they, I mean, ar arrested her on this back in December and could have could have resolved that at the appropriate time with the state or the court back then 
So I'd ask the court to ROR at this time on those two counts. State, you wish to be heard? Just ask the court to stay the bonds, and I believe she has an out of county. She has an out of county hold anyway, right? Uh, and that's probably the Seminole County case Mr. Brown's referring to. I was just reviewing the, reviewing the arrest affidavit. Mr. Uh, Brown, I appreciate your argument. I, you know, the bonds are 500, 500. I'm going to stay them. Um, as far as being transported to Seminole County, um, no, no, no. I, I know. Well, I think it was his wish that he could somehow get her transported, but that's, you know, nobody's transporting anybody at the moment. No, 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 no. I, not that we know of. I don't think it matters. I'm just going to stay the bonds in Orange County and she can post them. And, but as far as getting her up to Seminole County, that's up to Mr. Brown and whoever's up there. I don't, I don't have anything that we have to address that. So I, got, I, I would ask that you order the jail to serve the VOP warrant at this time. Well, they can do that. Corrections, they haven't have, yet, Judge. Corrections, do you have the VOP warrant from Seminole County? She has a hold um, for it to be served. I don't... Well, she's right there, so let's see if we can get her served. A hold is different than obviously serving the warrant under the law, Your Honor. I'm sorry, Mr. Brown, I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, just under the case law for a credit time served, serving a warrant is different than a hold. And, you know, and this is why she's in this predicament is because of these holds and these add-on charges. So, you know, I think as a matter of equity, they should serve the warrant and not Well, pursuant to the arrest affidavit, there was some confusion about identity. Apparently, the Maitland police officer arrested her under one name in December and then was contacted by a detective out of Volusia County under that name, but it was subsequently learned that she was a different person. Um, so it, it, it seems a little more complicated than we're going to sort out here in a, an initial appearance. But she's got yes, bonds, sir. she's free to post them, and you know, she can go to Seminole County whenever they're going to start transporting people and deal with that stuff there. But, uh, but uh, I don't have, a, I certainly think that um, if Orange County's got the Seminole County warrant, they can, I don't see why they can't serve it. Yes, sir. I, I think typically they serve it after the Orange County cases are. Okay. All right, so, so maybe she'll be getting some paperwork this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. He was saying, but basically, uh, there's some issue with Seminole County. Seminole County can deal with it. She got bonds and orange. All right, so now we're oh, we're on the plebles. Oh man, it's going to slow us down. Do we have a lot of offers? Okay, I screwed up again. Damn it. All right, uh, is this Mr. Andrews? Uh, yes, sir. All right, hang on a second. There aren't too many of them, actually. A lot of these are out of county that are behind here. How many? How many you got offers for? 
I mean, I hate to say it, but if, if, I'm in, if I'm down there and I can resolve my case today, I probably want to do it. I don't want to have to come back. Five. You got five? Yeah, and a lot of these after that are out of county and stuff. All right. We can do five. All right. Uh, Mr. Andrews. Uh, all right, so this is case number 2020-MM-367580. State, do you have an um, offer? Yes, adjudication of guilt, two days with credit time served and no return to the scene at 7000 East Colonial Drive. All right, uh, Mr. Andrews. Um, first of all, you have two choices today. Even though your bond's set at $500, I'm willing to release you ROR. Um, however, if you wish to resolve the case, the state has made an offer um, to resolve it with an adjudication of guilt. Oh, by the way, this is 2020 MM 3675A0. Uh, adjudication of guilt and conviction, credit for two days time served and no return to the um, location. Uh, you could accept that offer by entering a no contest plea, which would waive your right to a trial and waive your right to be represented by a lawyer, uh, but you would resolve it. Or uh, you can say, I would like to speak with my lawyer or I want to think about it and you can come back to court at another time. Uh, I think to choose the second option of um, adjudication of, I mean, uh, admitting guilt to. And okay, so you want to enter no contest plea and accept the state's offer to resolve it today? Is that what you're telling me? Uh, yes. All right, are you under the influence of drugs or alcohol today? Uh, no, sir. Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness? Uh, yes. Is it something that impairs your ability to understand what you're doing today? Uh, no. So you're thinking clearly and this is what you want to do, correct? Yes, sir. So All right. Take it to, um... Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Do you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, entering a plea to a criminal charge would subject you to deportation proceedings? Mm -hmm. Do you understand that idea? Uh, I am a U.S. citizen. I think I, yeah, I understand the idea. All right. It's, I'm not saying you are or aren't. I just need to know if you, if you grasp the concept. Yeah. Um, and finally, do you understand that by entering a plea and accepting this offer, you are waiving your right to have a trial. You could have a trial. And even though you have the public defender representing you, you're giving up the opportunity to speak with them about this case because you're resolving it right now. Do you understand those two things? Uh, yes, I do. All right, I'm gonna find your pleas freely and voluntarily entered. You've knowingly, willingly waived your right to have a trial, waived your right to speak with your lawyer. I assume you're entering a no contest plea, meaning you don't wanna uh, contest it, you just wanna resolve it, is that right? Uh, yes, sir. I'll accept your no contest plea, I'll adjudicate you guilty uh, of trespassing, order you to serve two days in the Orange County Jail and give you credit for the two days you've already done. Um, your court costs and cost of prosecution comes to the amount of $273. I'll reduce that to a civil judgment and you may not return to 7,000 East Colonial Drive in, is it Orlando, I guess? Yes. Orlando, Florida for a period of one year. Yes, sir. All right, good luck to you, sir. You're on the next on the list, Victoria Herman Bunn. Great. Victoria Herman's out. Uh, is this Ms. Jackson? Yes, it is. All right. I don't have an affidavit on her. Oh, because it's a, no, it's an MN. Not a county ordinance. Hang on, maybe it's stuck here. I have Shamira Jackson on my, yeah, I said that's her on my information sheet, but I don't have an affidavit on her. It's an open container. Oh, got it. Da, 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 da. State, do you have an FCIC on this person? Um, 
He has two felonies, 33 misdemeanors, nine F. 32? Yes, Your Honor. All right. You have an offer? I was going to dismiss it, but. Um, adjudication of guilt, two days with credit time served, court costs. <sighs> All right, Ms. Jackson, in case number 2020MM36880, you have two choices. If you want, I can, I'll can i release you ROR today, and you'll have to come back to court and uh, deal with the case. If you want to resolve it today, the state's offer is a conviction, adjudication of guilt, time served for two days, and you say no, wait, it's open container. We're not doing no return, are we? No, just two days with credit time served and court costs. Oh, okay, and your court costs which would be 273. You can accept that by entering a no contest plea and waive your right to trial, waive your right to speak with your lawyer, or you can say, no, I want to talk to my lawyer first and I'll release your ROR today. No contest, please. Okay, are you under the influence of drugs or alcohol? No, I'm not. Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness? No, I haven't. Do you understand if you're not a US citizen, entering a plea to a criminal charge would subject you to deportation proceedings? Yes, I do. And do you understand that by entering the no contest plea that you're telling me you want to enter, you're waiving your right to have a trial and you're waiving your right to speak with your lawyer about this case? Yes. I'll find your plea is freely, voluntarily entered. You've knowingly, willingly waived your right to have a trial, waived your right to speak with your lawyer. I assume you're pleading no contest, or you already entered no contest plea, didn't you? So I'll accept that. Uh, I will adjudicate you guilty of the open container charge. I'll sentence you to two days in Orange County Jail, give you credit for the two days that you've done. I'll... Um, Convert your uh, your uh, court costs, cost prosecution of $273. Is it $273 on an open container? Wow. I'll convert that to a civil judgment. Um, and that's it. Anything else? No, that's it. We're can, done. Good luck can, to you. Hey, good luck. Judge, can I please ask you a question? Um, it's a, how do I go about um, seeing about a, the, uh, the officer that arrested me? He's always, he's like, he harasses me all the time. And how do I get to talk to somebody about that? Who go do I talk find, to? Go find a lawyer that uh, files suits against police departments for harassment. Okay. All right. All right thank you. Mr. McIntosh. Yes, sir. State, we got an offer on this? Yes, adjudication of guilt, four days with credit time served to run concurrent and court cost. Well, that's why she said concurrent. Yeah, no, that's okay. All right, uh, Mr. McIntosh. Yes, sir. You, you have two choices today. You have two cases, 2020MM36788O oh, and 2020CO4789. 20, 20 four, four, AO, I guess that is. Uh, if you want to resolve these cases today, the state has offered a, a adjudication or convictions in both cases. Um, sentence of four days in Orange County Jail with credit for four days done, court costs, and that's it. Um, you can accept that offer by entering a no contest plea, or you can uh, tell me you want to speak with your lawyer about this case before you do anything, and I'll release your ROR. How do you want to proceed? Uh, I'm wondering, uh, you told me you're going to give me credit for time served and release me today, correct? Yeah. Four, four days with two days credit time served. Oh, four days with two. I thought you said, uh, I misunderstood. I told him four days with four days credit. It's yes, two, two days. days. Yes, two days in. Okay, so no, I'm sorry. The offer was four days, and you've got two days in, so it'd be two more days. I misunderstood. I apologize. Uh, no contest. Okay. No contest to both charges. Your Honor, would the court have an offer? Without a history on this guy, do you have an FCIC? I was going to ROR him. I mean, he could, he could. He has 19 felonies, 11 misdemeanors, uh, 6 FTA. All right. Well, based on that, unless the defense has uh, competing information, then I don't think it's unreasonable what the state's asking. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. So, sir, do you want to accept that offer? Yes, sir. All right, are you under the influence of drugs or alcohol today? No, sir. Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness? Yes, sir. 
Is it something that impairs your ability to understand what you're doing today? No, sir. So you are thinking clearly, and this is what you want to do, correct? Yes, sir. All right. And do you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, entering a plea to a criminal charge would subject you to deportation proceedings? I understand, sir. All right. And finally, you understand that by entering a no contest plea in the misdemeanor case waives your right to have a trial and waives your right to speak with your lawyer. And in the county ordinance case, it waives your right to have a hearing. You understand you're giving up all those uh, rights that you have by entering this plea today, correct? Yes, sir. All right. And um, I believe you already entered a no contest plea. I'll find that that plea is freely and voluntarily entered. You've knowingly, willingly waived your right to have a trial and or a hearing and your right to speak with your lawyer. Um, I will adju adjudicate you guilty of uh, possession of drug paraphernalia in MM 2020-MM367880. Um, sentence you to four days in the Orange County Jail, give you credit for two days that you've already done. Uh, are you working, sir? No, sir. I'll convert your court costs and cost prosecution of $273 to a civil judgment. Uh, and in case number 2020-CO4470, I'll adjudicate you guilty of that county ordinance. No further sanctions. All right, good luck to you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm waiving the court costs in the CO case. Mr. St. Fleur? Yeah, yes, sir. Did I say it wrong? St. Fleur. St. Fleur. Isn't that what I said? Yeah. All right, state, is there an offer? Actually, Your Honor, uh, this one, there's uh, DNA pending. Uh, on a firearm, and he was uh, in possession of when he was uh, uh, had convicted felon. So I guess we'll hold up on the offer on him. All right. Well, he qualifies for PTR, so I'm going to release him PTR. Standard conditions. That's in case number 2020 MM 3693 AO. Good luck to you, sir. You want to the list? Joshua Sanders Bundy. Great. I mean, good for him. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're done with people. That wasn't too bad. All right, the rest are out of county. We're just going on. No news at the moment, right? All right. Uh, is this Mr. Butner? Yes, sir. All right, sir. You have an out of county warrant. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to contact the county that is looking for you and ask them if they want to give you a bond or they want to come get you. He has a bond. It's county. Oh, he's got a bond? Oh, he does. Oh, you have a bond on this, sir. It's, it's uh, $5,000. Huh. Yeah. So you can post that in whatever county that is. I'll just wait till I go to court to talk to the judge. Or you can wait. All right, either way. All right, good luck to you. All right, next one doesn't have a bond, though. Oh, I didn't put the case number. Do I, do I have to do it? Oh, thank you. Fantastic. All right, is this Mr. Uh, Days? Yes, sir. All right, sir, you also have an out-county warrant by Sumner County. Sumner County? It says Stumper. Oh, oh sorry. That's the certified by this. I read, Stump I read Sumner. I, I, I know, I know. Is it a bond on it? No, sorry, no bond. Polk County, Florida. I see it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wait. Aren't we still telling them that we're contacting yes. Polk, and if they if they give you a bond or they tell us to hold you till they come get you, we'll bring you back in a few days to tell you what they told us. Okay. All right. All right. But at, right now, there's no bond. All right, and that's with child support, right? Or because I just apparently because I yes. told last night when they stopped me, I showed them my receipt. I had my receipt because I go to Amscot and pay it. So the police told me, he said that, it, I guess because the, the whatever the thing that's going on, the, the COVID-19 and all that, he said he don't know if it's that, but I showed him the receipt and he was like, yeah, you, it is paid, but I don't know why they still put a warrant. Just this, like the second time this happened. I would call a lawyer, sir. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Ms. Is this Day? No, this is Roberts. Did I give you uh, a sheet on Roberts? We did day as a move up, I believe, didn't we? 
Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I got you. Well, the next one I got is Johnson. All right. This is Roberts. Sir, you have a Seminole County warrant. We are going to contact Seminole County. Oh, he has a bond. 195 bucks. You got a bond. 195 bucks. You can post or you can wait till they come get you. Oh, wait. Looks like he's got another case. Oh, it's the same thing. All right. Good luck to you, sir. Okay, I'm all. I got Billy Johnson. I got Roberts. Johnson was a move up. All right, and then I got Roberts, and then I got Robinson. What happened to Roberts? He just did Robertson. Oh, they were. Oh, so they were just transposed. All right, so this is Robinson. Yes, sir. Okay, so he's got a Sarasota and orange. Yeah. Well, it's not. Yeah. Less well, not out of county. Oh, okay. All right. So, all right. So, he has he already done IA on the. All right, so sir, here's what's going on. You got two cases. One is your Orange County case. That is 2020 CF 6218 uh, AO. You have a bond of $1,000 on that case. I will stay the bond at $1,000. Uh, he he you bonded also, on the other county already. He bonded he, on I mean, he, I'm sorry, he bonded on the Orange County already. Uh, okay, well, then the reason you're being held is because Sarasota, yes. you have a no bond oh, okay. warrant out of Sarasota. And we're going to contact them, and once they tell us what they want you to do, they'll bring you back and let you know. All right. Uh, all right. Thank you. All right. Here's Robinson. I'm, I'm, conf I'm confused. This is Mr. Noel. Yes, sir. All right. So this is... Case number 20, well, you've got a violation, but you also have case number 2020 CF 622680. Your bond in that case is $2,500. I will stay the bond at that amount. And then your violation of probation, I'm going to leave at no bond. You will have to seek a bond in front of the judge on that case. All right. All right, good luck to you. Now what? We're done. I got nothing 30, left. 33 days? Oh, we got a 33 day. Oh, we do. We have one more status hearing, too. Uh, corrections, what happened to Tommy Williams? You have an inmate number, Your Honor? Booking number, Your Honor? I don't know. 200-111-87. <laughs>